Well, hello, little bit of different video format than what you're used to seeing from us. You know, we don't push products. I don't think we've ever pushed a product and we're not pushing this product. However, we've always said that we will if one sounds cool to us. And the folks at Holham sent us the iSteady V3, their new smartphone gimbal. We couldn't resist the opportunity to check this thing out. Perfect, since I'm an absolute gimbal novice. This is the first gimbal that we've used. Let's see what we got in the box here. Hopefully the gimbal's easier to use than it is to open the box. Boop. Got a little scan codes in there for first use. Scan to watch the video tutorial. We'll probably do that. A little carrying bag. USB-C charging cord. Quick start guide manual. Who needs those? And then... Bam. We have the actual gimbal. I'm gonna scan that. Watch the tutorial video. And I'll be right back. The tutorial that Olham put together, it's about eight minutes long. It is fantastic. So I'm not gonna sit here and show you everything that they already went through all the trouble to make a great little tutorial on. But what I am gonna do is after watching it once, see how easy it is to remember for somebody that doesn't retain really well. So that's actually probably more useful. This is pretty complex little piece of machinery. Does seem like I'll be able to get it working without too much trouble, but we'll see. The tripod is actually tucked into the bottom here which is pretty neat. It's also a mounting bracket down there to put on the traditional camera. Nice little tripod. Unpack it up. Stole Kate's phone so we can put this one on here. Oh, we may have encountered our first problem. It says to make sure that the phone is centered. We'll see if we can handle this heavy phone we got here. We're using the iPhone 15 Pro Max. Very nice. Except for I have it upside down. Good Lord. All right, we're gonna long press the power button. Now, according to the tutorial, if I hit the mode button twice, I'll put it into landscape mode. That's exactly what we want. Also has a skew. Well, it sure is easy to use. I think don't blame the equipment. I'm not used to using gimbals and this, uh, it isn't snapping so well onto the uh, phone case. And this is not a big phone case. So that might be an issue. Uh, might have to take it out of the case in order to use it. We would really prefer not to do that. Obviously I dropped stuff. There is a extension rod we can use for doing selfies and whatnot. That doesn't seem too bad. All right, modes. All right. So another thing it's got is this snazzy little light right here that is not actually clicked in all that well. There we go. There we go, a little long press on the slide wheel. And then we can control the light levels like that. There's a trigger right here. Pull the trigger to lock it. Keep it on whatever you're doing. All right, looks pretty snazzy. Also comes with a little Allen key. Not really sure why yet, but I'm sure when I read a little more, it'll tell why. That didn't cover that in the tutorial. We're gonna take this out and go for a little walk with it and see how easy it is to uh, to use on the road. What we're mainly gonna be using a gimbal for is vlogging like this. This is portrait mode. We don't usually use portrait mode, but the nice thing on this little gimbal I found out, you squeeze the trigger three times and it spins 180. Also, hit the mode button twice and it takes us to landscape, which is much nicer. That's pretty nice smooth roll right there. I'll change the mode over to, there we go. So we can get the good pan in. It's pretty nice. Now, if you squeeze the trigger, it goes into lock mode which will keep that stable no matter what I do with the gimbal. That works pretty good. If we put it into lock mode, there we go. Do them forward and backward, side to side, spin around. Stay up. <laughs> oh. All right, well, spun it a little past its limits there, but that was a full circle, so that's totally acceptable. This is pretty nice. So one of the things we haven't talked about yet on this is the AI Assistant, which it's pretty neat, and when I get a place to set up the tripod, we'll talk about that. That should be on. Now, I believe 
Okay, there we go. The AI assist is now on. So it's, it's looking at your crotch. Yeah. Is it? <laughs> yep. All right, so let's give it the hand signal. Thumbs up. Uh-oh. Oh, okay. okay. You just, AI. Well, we can squeeze the trigger. Oh, wrong way. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> At least you're getting a realistic view of uh, the growing fans on this bad boy. Function button, double press, puts it back to landscape. Start is okay. There we go, now it turned green. AI mode is on. And then we should be able to turn back. Or not. Let's give it okay. AI is not missing. That stop. That. It's following you. Does it follow? Okay, there we go. Oh. Well, that's at least nice. So we need a little bit more work with the AI. I'm gonna flip this thing around to landscape mode. Oh, 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 oh. come back here, bubble. It flipped out on us. There we go. It's always an adventure. Let's go. Okay, there we go. AI is back on. All right, it's tracking me. We're gonna be playing with this a lot more over the coming weeks. We're a little backed up on videos right now. We have some videos coming up over the next few weeks from stuff that we filmed in Thailand that you're really gonna to wanna to see. Uh, some great adventures we had there. And I think we also had, oh yeah, and in Vietnam also. But we are getting ready to head to watch the Camino in Portugal. So since we've got this snazzy little, oh, he didn't follow me. Tug feet. Well, that'll give us a chance to work with the, uh, with the i3, with the iSteady V3 here. It seems really cool. It's not the most intuitive gadget that I've ever touched, but it doesn't seem really hard. A lot of that's just my retention problems. But if you're not really gadget savvy, you should definitely watch some tutorials, which I think I'm gonna do before we film with this again to make sure that uh, I got some of the tips and tricks. Um, some of the things with the AI, it looked really neat on the tutorial, we'll see what goes on with the AI. I'm gonna take it around a little bit more to walk here through the park, just to see how it does uh, track and cape while I'm walking with it and see how it works like that. But overall, for a lightweight gimbal like this, it seems like a pretty good deal. Let's get used to talking again. It's been a little while since I actually got in front of the camera and was talking. This is Katie Cam. <laughs> It has been very warm around here. Anywhere from 95 to 109. What's that in Celsius? I have not a clue. But when we're in Europe, I will convert. That tracked you pretty darn well. Okay, go back the other way. Is the green light on for the AI? Yeah. So that AI tracking is working really well because I haven't had to do anything to keep that following you. So that's a nice sign. All right, back to you, ma'am. And we've been looking. You can actually see the mountains. It's been pretty smoky here with all the fires. As far as portability goes, you see that right there in my hand. That is very portable. You easily stick it in a pocket. Comes with a little travel bag. Very, very portable. So that's definitely a plus.